good morning so i was on my way to the gym i'm still on my way well like i'm here but i haven't gotten the car yet and i had a really good idea well i don't know if y'all think it's a good idea but i think it's a good idea so throughout my journey of losing weight i did incorporate a smartwatch i think that's what you would call them so i have a fitbit and that's what i use for most of my journey um i started i technically started off in june but i didn't start losing weight until july because that's when i started to count my calories and in july is when i got my fitbit so with the fitbit you know this video should really be sponsored because i'm like i'm really about to give y'all all the good juicy perks of having a fitbit because you can like go on there and log your calories and everything on your fitbit it syncs into the app so it's like it's bluetooth connected or something like that or wi-fi or both something like that i don't know but anyways i just want to say that this fitbit has been so 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 useful to me and i'm not saying you have to have a fitbit to be able to lose weight but i'm just saying it's extremely helpful and you don't even have to have a fitbit you can have any smart watch and you know i don't know if all smart watches come with an app to record your activity and calories and stuff but i'm pretty sure if you get like one of those little five i think they're like five ten dollars at target if you get one of those and then just use the my fitness pal app you can just manually record everything because I mean, although my activity level doesn't, I don't manually record that into the app for my Fitbit, I do have to manually record my calories because I just want to make sure I'm getting the most accurate numbers. But anyways, today I'm going to show you guys how I use it. I'm not going to like record every single thing. I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. So 8.39 a.m. My heartbeat is currently at 88 something okay so then i'm just gonna press, press this top button and that automatically takes you to exercise so the options that i have are run treadmill weights interval timer workout like just the general workout and the elliptical you can add other options like bicycling swimming all kinds of stuff but these are just the ones that i these are all the automatic ones and then i added elliptical because it wasn't there so that's that um, let's see what else do we have so let's press the top or the bottom button you also get a coach I have never used this stuff to be honest and you would think like if you spend money on something like this like you would want to use every single thing but I don't know I just haven't gotten to that yet so yeah you get a coach for all these different workouts abs all kinds of stuff so now I'm just gonna press the home button which is this right here Oh yeah, and so I'm gonna sc uh, scroll up, and it has like these little messages, it's cute, or whatever. And that tells how many calories, like based on the information that you plug into the Fitbit app, uh, basically saying like your height, your weight, cause you can also record that as well. I weigh myself weekly, or at least I try to. When I was losing weight um, steadily, like when I was actually trying as hard as I can to lose weight, I will weigh myself every single week and record it into the app, which I will get into in a second I'll show you guys I'll take I'll take a screen recording of me navigating through the app and so that's the heart rate and that's my workout from yesterday so I only did cardio yesterday on the elliptical and then there's Friday's workout on the elliptical and then that was another workout that I did on Friday weights and then it also tells you like your uh, womanly stuff but i don't use it it honestly i don't even know if that's right i just i don't use it at all and then here's the settings and you can do that good stuff so yeah that's what it looks like and i'm gonna show you guys me navigating through it so stay tuned hey there no i'm just kidding so this is what it looks like in the fitbit app um, i'm just navigating through the app um this is what it looks like when your exercise gets synced into the app and you can see a lot of different things your sleep schedule i don't usually record my sleep anymore like that because it's just annoying like i don't feel like doing that every single night 
and then your heart rate and there's a lot of cool things that um the app will tell you about your heart rate and like if it's getting better or not like your resting heart rate and things like that who i'm running out of breath girl but yeah and then this is a really big part of um i guess i utilize this part of the app the most um this is where i i put my weight and my body fat um, I get my body fat from the scale that I have at home, which if y'all are interested, I can let y'all can just ask me and I'll tell you what scale I use. It's like $30. Anyways, this is where I record that and you can see the trends over time, like over the past uh, couple months. Um, the progress that I've made or whatever. Okay, I lied. I use this part of the app, this section, the most. This is where I record my calories. Um, if you see some calories that are really low, like a thousand, that's because I didn't record my calories for the whole day. It was probably the weekend. Anyways, this is where I record all of my calories. And nothing is absolutely spot on as long as you know a good range of where your calories should be at every day whether you want to lose weight gain weight maintain weight whatever the case may be this is where you can do it and it like I said it doesn't have to be spot on you can literally just uh, put in eggs and it'll have like the typical calorie count for eggs because most eggs just have the same amount of calories unless it's egg whites which they're extremely long calories and they're nasty as hell so anyways that's just an example and also this is a really cool part of the app right here you can actually join clubs and add friends i have friends on here <laughs> but yeah guys pretty dope pretty dope Okay, so yeah, I just left the gym and it was cool. And I did track my workout with my Fitbit. Basically, all I do when I go in there is I just put in, like depending on what I'm doing that day, I'll just click on weight, do my weight, and then you can stop the workout. And then after that, I do my cardio. And then I usually I do my cardio on the elliptical and then I'll just track that using the elliptical option. And sometimes, well actually most times, you don't even have to tell it what you're doing. It automatically knows what you're doing. But I personally, I just like to tell it what I'm doing just in case, I don't know. I just like to make sure everything is tracked. I'm not one of those people where like everything has to be perfect to the T, but when it comes to my workouts, like I really do wanna know what I'm burning and whatnot. And my gas is already done, okay. But yeah, I hope that you guys found this useful. Again, you don't have to go out and buy a Fitbit. Um, there's different kinds of Fitbits. This is not even like the newest one. This is the Versa and I like it. Um, I ended up getting my mom a Versa for Christmas because I know that she, she really liked how I was able to track everything with it. And um, yeah, you can also get like those uh activity trackers from target too so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that you will subscribe like it comment share your thoughts with me and i'll see you guys in the next video bye